Welcome to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a couple Dollar Tree DIYs. I'll show you the good and all of the mistakes, so stick around. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and my goal here is to try to find more calm in all the crazy and put some order to the chaos. I am so excited that you're here today and that I get to show you my Dollar Tree DIYs. Now, I did learn a few things along the way and I will share those with you as we get into it. Before we get started and into the video, I would love for you to take a moment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And if you click that little bell, you'll be notified every single time that I upload a video. Oh man, boy did I learn a lot while doing these projects and I'm excited to show you the things that I have learned. But I think you'll enjoy the outcome. So let's get into it. So both projects that I am showing you today, I'm using frames from the Dollar Tree. This first project, I am using 11 by 14 frames and I have three of them. So first you're gonna take off the outside plastic and after that, you're gonna open up the back of the frame. You're gonna remove everything inside. So you take off the backing, the paper, and the glass and you're gonna do that to all three frames. Set all three pieces of glass aside and you'll get back to those in just a little bit. So I'm going around and I'm using just a pair of these pliers to pull out the little, little metal parts that hold in the backing. I don't even know what you call those, but carefully just kind of pull those through. You'll notice with Dollar Tree frames, they're not wood. They're actually kind of like a papery, foamy kind of thing. And so you want to be a little bit gentle as you're taking it. So as you see, I'm just kind of curling it around and pulling those out. And I'm going to do that to two of the frames and leave them in on the third frame. So make sure you do not pull this out on all three frames. Leave them in on the third frame. So now I'm gonna take this chalk paint and I'm gonna paint the frames. Now my paint is a little bit thick. I'm pretty sure that's not the way it came, but I'm not an expert, so I just mixed it up and it worked just fine. So you're going to paint all three frames. We are gonna be stacking, or I am gonna be stacking the frames, and so the most important parts for me to paint here are gonna be the edges as well as the piece that's gonna go on top, and that will be one of the pieces that no longer has those little metal back pieces anymore. Now, even though I'm gonna paint it well, I'm gonna paint it, I don't know, kinda casually, because I still want the black to show through. That helps for me, and in my opinion, to give it more of that farmhouse look that I want. And so I'm okay with some of the black showing through. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna paint everything, and then let it dry. As my paint is drying, I am now going to use this E6000 to attach the different glass pieces to each other. I did not mean to pick up a black glue, but you're not gonna see it. So I decided it wasn't a big deal and I was gonna go with it anyway. I knew that I would be able to use it on this project as well as some future projects that I have. So I'm adding this, as you can tell, all over because I really wanna make sure that it's covered and that it stays and it's secured. So I'm gonna add it onto this piece attach the next piece, and then I'm gonna put it on the top of the second piece and add the third piece. So I'm gonna have a three layers of the glass that was originally inside of the picture frames. One tip I have as you add your different layers of glass is to really make sure that your edges are lining up. You want them to be really lined up and straight because they need to fit back into one of the original frames, the one that actually has the backing still attached. So the edges need to really line up so that that can happen. I did go back in and add a second layer of paint where I thought it needed it and just did some paint touch-ups to all three layers of the frames. So I'm taking this contact paper that I also got at the Dollar Tree. Now you have several different options, but I really liked this black and white floral. It was gonna work perfectly for what my thought is with what I want. So I'm gonna line it up and I'm actually gonna make sure that I have extra hanging off of my edges and then I'm gonna cut that off. This is my first contact paper experience. So you will see here that I have a lot to learn. So I peel off the backing and it does tell you to peel kind of at that diagonal angle and I did that. And then I place my glass on. Once I place my glass on, 
working with fabric, you always wanna kinda of get rid of your edges, so I wanted to do the same thing here. So I lay the glass on and I'm cutting out that square on all four corners so that when I turn the contact paper over onto the back, it'll lay a little bit better. But as you can see, I definitely have a problem. I had so many bubbles on the front side, so I still had to unpeel it, pull it up, and do it again. So I don't know if anyone has a suggestion for me on how I could have made that a smoother transition than what it was. I would love to hear from you. Luckily, it all worked out, but it definitely had its hiccups. So it does take 24 hours for this glue to dry. So I am trying to be really careful with the different pieces that I'm putting it together, but I'm still moving on with the process. I am now adding the glue to the edges of this frame. This is the frame that still has the metal backing. So I'm gonna add the glue around it so that I can now put the contact covered glass into the frame and this will become the bottom of the tray. For extra security after I got the glass inside the frame, I'm adding the glue underneath each one of those metal pieces before I push it down so that the metal piece also adheres to the glue to make it a little bit stronger. I will then also take the glue all the way around the edge of this to give one more layer of security. So now that the glass is secure, it's time to add the other two frames on top to make it into a tray. So I'm adding the glue onto the bottom of one of the frames, and I'm being really careful. Again, because I am using a black glue, I'm being extra careful because I don't want any of it seeping out, especially since my paint is white. But luckily this glue is really strong, and I'm just doing a thin line all the way around. I then add the frame on top of the other one that has the glass in it, and then I repeat it with the last frame. Same process. I'm just gonna add some weight on top of it and let it set and dry. Remember, it takes 24 hours for this glue to dry, so I just wanna leave it alone. I'm not done with the tray yet, but I'm gonna let it sit here and I'm gonna show you project number two. Again, using frames from the Dollar Tree. This time they are four by six and I'm gonna make a lantern using these frames. This project begins very similar to the last one. You're gonna open up the plastic and then you're gonna open up the back and take out the cardboard and the paper but we're gonna leave the glass in this time. Once you have everything out, go ahead and push those little metal backings back down into the glass. So you're gonna push them a little bit further than where they were originally. And then I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. Now in my hot glue gun, I have Gorilla Hot Glue. And so that is what I will be using on this project. So you'll see that I'm gonna push those down and I'm gonna glue all the way around the edges this exact same process with all four frames. Now it's time to attach the four frames together, but first I'm going to lay them out and decide exactly where I want them before I start adding the glue. That way I can move more quickly with the glue. And again, I'm using the Gorilla hot glue while I glue them together. So a couple of tips I think will help you if you choose to do this is first, don't use so much glue that it leaks out the sides. If you just do a nice thin strip, it'll stick and you won't have to worry about anything that is coming out. And second, make sure that you're pressing your edges so you have nice smooth edges from one frame to the other. So my plan here is to take some hemp that I already had on hand and I cut five strands the exact same length. I took three strands that stay together and then the fourth and fifth string I were, I'm taking and I'm gonna wrap them around the end. So here I have one string, you can see I'm using the hot glue and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around, just kind of giving the end of the three pieces a little bit more of a finished look. And oh, don't worry, Yes, I did burn myself and got a tiny little blister as a result of it. So after this, I got a little bit more careful as I was doing it.
So here I'm looking at the rope and I'm trying to decide how to make it into a handle for this lantern. And I'm going to try some different things and you will soon find out that nothing that I try is going to work out very well. I go ahead and I finish off the other end of the rope to give it that same look that I did on the one side, just wrapping the hemp around to give it that finished look. I gave up on the idea that that was gonna work on the lantern, so I decided that this would make the best handles for the tray. So I've already added one to one side, and now I, and I made a second one to add to the other side. And I just think that adding this as handles turned out so cute. So I decided to take the hemp and do like an X pattern on all four of the glass panes. So I'm gonna add the hot glue and then I'll put the hemp in the corner and you'll see that I use the scissors to kind of press it into that corner nice and tight and also so I will not burn myself. And then I'm gonna take it down to the bottom and do the same thing and just keep repeating that pattern until all four panes have that X shape. So now that I've completed all that and I look at it, it's really bothering me that you can see those black metal things that I pushed on the inside. So I think, okay, well maybe I'll just kind of bend them back and you won't see them as much. Well, even after bending them back, they really still bothered me because they stick out against the white. So I went ahead in with my pliers and decided I was gonna pull all of them out. Now I can't say that I would necessarily have done this differently because I feel like they kind of helped keep everything together while I was doing it and it, I feel like it might have helped secure it but in the end I'm glad that I was still able to get them out and they that way they're not as a distraction like I feel like they are right here so here you see the final products I went ahead and put the tray on the table and then I added the lantern of course that candle that is in there is actually a battery operated candle that I have and it, you can set it on a timer so I really like that this is a picture of my kids with a frame that I got from Kirkland a couple years ago and then behind it I just have this jar that I've added some rope and even some burlap around and added the pink flowers that I picked up at Hobby Lobby so there you have it my final product I could not be happier I would love to hear if you have any great DIY projects for me also before you go, would you please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy DIYs, especially budget-friendly ones, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video.